Hey guys, welcome to Filmbox. Today I'm gonna be talking about the la latest photo shoot I did and that was with a model, um, her name is Isabella. Now this was my first time working with her and I wanna give you some tips on how you can manage and make the best photo shoot possible, especially when working with somebody for the first time. Now I want to apologize in advance. I know that the lighting might be off on the video. Um, we were just having a little uh, hiccup there when it came to uh, adjusting exposure. Now, one of the main things that I wanted to focus on is being able to shoot in both digital and film at the same time. I know this might sound counteractive or very contradictive, but in reality, it helps out a lot, especially if you're shooting with somebody for the first time because you want to get them to feel comfortable around you. And the best way to do that is by shooting as much as possible. Now. If you were shooting film, you're gonna go through those rolls like crazy. And film is expensive and you don't wanna do that. Um, so what you want to do is you wanna shoot digital. So I always bring my Sony a7R2 with me uh, when it comes to photo shoots. And I start with that. I'm able to take as many shots as possible, um, kinda get a feel of how she wants to photo shoot um, done and how I want it done too. So that helps out to create teamwork. And from there, I'm able to review and show her the photos uh, that I've taken and there's things that she might want to change and things I want to change and it's easier to do that when you can see the image right there and then on your um, digital screen. Obviously you can't do that with film, um, that's why I highly recommend doing that first. Obviously when you're shooting film, you cannot just take all the photos you want unless you're rich. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, it costs money to shoot film, so I like to make those shots count. In this case, I'm using an RZ67, so I only get 10 shots per roll. I tend to use about one or two rolls um, per photo shoot and then cover the rest with digital. So the best way to do that is warm up your model when it comes to um, shooting for the first time and do it with your digital camera. Once she's ready, she's in the zone, you're in the zone, you go ahead and take out your film camera. some of my favorite shots um, then we went ahead and added some accessories now in this case I added the Leica M6 I was carrying with me I wanted her to hold it and act like she's taking a photo with it and then with her hat on it just made it look like she's like on a safari kind of thing I mean if that makes sense or like you know she's shooting you know some shots with her film camera like back in the days she had this beautiful floral dress as well as her hat and it just went all well together Yeah, whenever the light started going down, then Portra 800 wasn't gonna hold up to just that natural light. So we went ahead and got this out, which was, it's a little RGB light. Um, 
I don't know how to say it. I think it's V Gym or something. It's it's not like the greatest brand ever, but it works for me. Um, one of the biggest complaints I would have about it would be the um, the battery life is not that great. I feel like every time I use it, even when I don't use it, and like I turn it on for like about 15, 15 minutes or so at full power, like you already start losing a line of battery and things. So um, I think the battery is probably good for maybe an hour, an hour, half maybe two hours if you're lucky but that's about it um other than that it's a great light and it's very affordable and it has a, like a little lcd well i guess you would call it an lcd screen on the back and it lets you know as far as your power and things like that such as you know battery life um your temperature for your light and um you can change it into different things from there um so that's a pretty cool thing about it that i like um, so it does the job. I've never shoot more than like two hours. So this is plenty of time um, for me But if you're looking to shoot for like three to six hours or I don't know heard people do it almost a whole day um, You might want to get something more expensive um, But other than that I had a great time um, photographing Isabella and you can also Check her workout. I'll link her Instagram below so you can check her out um, She's a great model and I'll definitely be working with her again in the future. And that's about it. If you have any questions about anything about that I mentioned in the photo, photo shoot or any tips or anything like that, um, just leave it in your comments below. And 